I just drove 10 hours here for the competition tomorrow. We just made it to Coffs and we're gonna go get a photo with the big banana. It's time for our grocery haul. Guys, the aircon just started working. It's so good. The aircon in our car wasn't working properly and so we only had air conditioning for about 10 minutes out of the 10 hour long trip. Two very boring minutes later. Guys, I just got like a 10 in 3 blind while in the car. And it was also a 14.03 mean. Which would also be PB, but it's on the phone so I'm not counting it. But still, very good times. I just did 132 3 blind solves and they were like pretty good. Like I was getting lots of 13s um, and 14s especially. So yeah, very happy with how I'm going, especially with the new cube, but we'll see how I can do with it in competition. So I just made it to the venue and I judged clock round one and I'll be in group three. So I'm looking forward to that and then is three by. Don't DNF out of the first rounds. Ready. Oh, no. <laughs> I checked the back side and I still DNF'd. For some reason, my brain just didn't comprehend that the puzzle wasn't solved and I stopped the timer anyway. Whoopsies. Now I had to make sure that the puzzle was solved at the end of each solve in order to make it to the next round. Not only did I not make it to the next round, but I also didn't make cutoff to do the next three solves of the average. Hopefully the DNF streak didn't continue into three blind, which was the next event. Just quickly before I start the solve, I would like to point out that this was my first competition using the brand new Moyu Ball Core Huameng Wise 3M. I fell in love with this cube as soon as I got it and I decided to main it. You can check out my video on the cube up here. If you do want to purchase this cube, at the time of recording this video, it is only 39 Australian dollars, or 37 if you purchase the cube from dailypuzzles.com.au using discount code SWIFTCUBING. Anyways, back to the souls. like not very good for me at all the last two scrambles were pretty easy and I did a really silly silly thing that I like decided to try out and it didn't work in the first solve so overall pretty disappointed but that's okay still got two more rounds
I'll wait till the train goes past. Such a long train. All right, so I just did three bind. It wasn't too great again. The last one should have been like a 15, but I made a silly mistake that ended up um, making it a 16 DNF. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Still got finals, so hopefully I can do well. I had driven 20 hours just for these 9 3x3 blindfolded souls, only to get one that was even close to my average at home. So these 20 hours had all gone to waste, right? Absolutely not. We hadn't come just for the blindfolded and the competing. We had come for the fun adventure, to meet with Cuban friends and to overall just have a great weekend. Watching Daniel get a time much faster than he expected was something special. The Cuban community is so supportive, they cheered and celebrated his success. Competitions are so much more than just competing. You could get horrible times in the events that you care about the most, but choose to not let it affect you and just still have a great weekend. If you're wondering whether you should go to a competition, 100% go to a competition if you can. And if you already do go to competitions, but you struggle to have a good time after getting poor results, just remember that Cuban competitions are more than just competing. They're social gatherings full of fun and encouragement. I am so glad that the competition went the way that it did. I learned a valuable lesson and I hope you guys can learn from it too. Enjoy the rest of our trip home. Ooh.